Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fight Night Champion. This is my legacy boxer, Orion Snyder. This is a fight 36 of his career. We are 35 and 0 with 34 in knockouts. Today we're taking on Tim Bradley. We still did drop weight, so we were able to fight the lighter of fighters while still being able to take on heavyweight fighters. So, just hang tight. We're about to take on Tim Bradley and hopefully knock him out quickly. Tim Bradley's a better fighter than I was expecting. So, we'll see how it goes. concern defensively when you're a speedy fighter, a fast fighter against a power puncher? Usually, Joe, you don't want to get caught stepping out because when you're a fast guy, you want to get off and you want to get the heck away from the guy that's powerful. Don't get caught backing out. They both decide to bring it. Protecting his head well with his guard. Big right hand. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wishes... And it's too late for it because he wasn't taught. But he wishes he was a guy who's taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. Right now, his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. Watch that punch. Tim Bradley is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. there going upstairs Bradley's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter you gotta block those punches away that's great stuff he fires one right back after taking one gotta love the work Tim Bradley's bang by a oh that's gotta hurt great throwings here in this round and he goes down can he survive it one two Tim Bradley's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts. So Even though I knocked Tim Bradley down the one time, um, and I stunned him the other time, I still feel like Tim Bradley did really a, like a lot better than I was expecting him to do. Um, he's a much better defensive fighter and a lot quicker than I was expecting, especially with avoiding my punches. It's right here. It's rare that he's standing in here with me because in the first round, he's moving around so much and avoiding me. So I don't have the speed to keep up with him. I'm going to have to make him stand here and slug it out with me. That's my plan. Probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. right back with a shot of his own comes right back at him with a left hand the midst of the straight right how about a return to sender with the left hand back and forth exchange with that headshot. Snyder's combination punching is working well here. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Get your back off the roof. What? What? Scored well up top. Not able to connect with the uppercut. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. I love what I see, baby. 
Jones. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Bradley's 60 seconds. All right, so round two. Um, I'm still doing well. He's still going down. We're doing damage. It shouldn't last that much longer. Um, but he's doing a lot better than I was expecting. I knew that he was a good fighter. I knew uh, that I had a clear advantage with my height, my reach, and my weight. Which I don't think the weight has uh, plays that much of a part. But his, fight, his strategy versus mine. And there he goes for the third time. Tim Bradley is down once again. And he will not be getting back up. That's the end of it. So I improved to 36 and 0 with 35 knockouts. Um, I was expect I thought he was going to get back up that last time, but they stopped it. So another good win for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did enjoy this one, come make sure to subscribe to the video, like the video. You're going to see my stats for the uh, fight in a second, how many punches I've thrown. And come back next time as we're going to be taking on Oscar De La Hoya.